so hello friends welcome to my channel friends today i am going to show you how to do mri of cervical spine on g1.5 tesla model is brio mr355 i have already scanned this patient for brain so simply i am click, uh, clicking on the patient name from here you can copy a sequence this is the option create a work list with same patient detail so click on this now we are on the entry desk enter patient description exam description is cervical spine from here you have to select the protocol ideally protocols of spines are in spine region but i have kept my protocol in others select cervical spine protocol enter start exam patient position is head first coil is cervical adductor first of all we are taking treatment localizer c coil is c adductor coil your coil is connected over here without treatment localizer you can't do anything okay so first of all you have to take treatment localizer save rx first of all i will plan sst2 because if i get sst2 first rest of the sequence for axials and coronal i will plan on that sst2 sequence okay so that's why i'm taking first of all this sst2 sequence protocol is sst2 sst1 coronal stir axial merge means axial gradient axial t1 and axial t2 first of all i am taking sst2 double click open rules is if you want sag you have to plan on coronal and axials but for sag t2 i will mostly plan on this coronal image because we have to plan one first of all you have to click on the single slice keep on this spinal cord your one slice should parallel to spinal cord okay then you have to cover from right to left transverse process means foramen you have to collect you have to cover a foramen i am taking your 10 slice my right to left region has been covered okay don't miss the foramen some people are taking only 8 images no that is not advisable you can take 11 or you can take 12 or you can take 10 less slice less scan time so here i am taking only 10 slices you can see my planning for sagittal t2 you have to keep set ban anteriorly to suppress the anterior artifacts but here i am not keeping set ban to reduce the time okay so this is the sag t2 planning always keep in mind you have to take right to left or some are taking left to right but ideally all are taking right to left slices only so start sag t2 simply click on the sagittal t1 weighted sequence copy rx from your white portion is rx copy with sag t2 except you can copy sagittal with sagittal axial with axials and coronal with coronal so here i am copying sag t1 with sag t2 save rx double click on coronal stir sequence enter on you want coronal you have to plan on sag and axials okay for coronals you have to enter the sagittal t2 weight of sequence over here and you have to see your one slice should be parallel to spinal cord cervical spinal cord okay simply i am keeping first of all you have to adjust the box accordingly that region of interest has been covered f of is 23 after getting your sag t2 sequence you have to enter sag t2 in a sagittal t2 box 
so size key to sequence has been displayed now what you have to do simply click on this box enter from here select size key to okay okay so this sequence has come over here now you have to see your one slice should be parallel to spinal cord again select single slice see my one slice is parallel to spinal cord now simply again select 10 or 12 slices 11 slice is enough okay so this is the planning for coronal stir sequence save rx now i will plan axial images click on this merge sequence enter if you want axial you have to plan on sag and coronals okay enter again click on this box enter sag t2 now for axials first of all you have to see right to left images we will see in this box first first of all you have to determine right to left images and see at which level there is a protrusion or extrusion or there is a largest bulge okay if if the spinal discs are normal you have to simply add three three sections on all the disc levels okay so again i am checking from right to left here you can see on this three four five six three four five six c six eleven c six seven level that is a foraminal see this is foraminal disc protrusion on right side on this area you have to enter more images so ideally you have to take 19 images so you can enter 19 images in your films format should be 20 your three slices should on the cervical junction now you can see now on the c23 level there is nothing much now on c34 level your one slice should parallel to this disc region okay and rest of the slice should be on the body region so i am taking three slices over here one slice should be parallel to this disc and one is from body level and another is from body level like three sections i have taken on c34 level now another three sections you should keep on c45 level now again on this three your one slice should be parallel to disc and rest on the body level okay three three slice i am keeping sometimes you have to take a slab there is no need to keep this single single blocks okay now again i will check from right to left whether i am covering all the levels properly or not c3 c4 c5 c6 and c7 c7 d1 level up till c7 d1 level you have to cover okay cervical junction up to this level now again align this on coronal here we are not having option to align this in a single shot so you have to click single single images and align this so this is how you have to plan for axials then again you have to check whether all your slices are covering the region of interest or not if it is not covering you have to increase your slices okay simply my first plan is completed rest of the axials you have to copy with this plan simple 
so this gradient sequence started now simply click on this XL T1 copy from here copy with this XL set one you have to keep except now again T2 double click open click on this RX copy with this XL This is how you have to plan. Simply first plan size T2, copy size T1, then plan coronal star, then you have to plan one exils properly, then you have to rest of the sequence you have to copy. Simple. So this is how you have to do MRF cervical spine on G1.5 Tesla. Hope you will like my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more updates thanks for watching